Hey everybody, back at you again with another bedroom braided video apparently. Um, I made a video and checked in a week ago, which was my 10th day of my juice fast, and today is the 17th day. <sighs> what a ride this, you know, almost three week experience has been. Um, one thing I wanted to like touch base on is that my finger has been doing all sorts of weird stuff. It got really swollen one day. I don't know how well you can see it. It kind of like blistered and has since like the blister has since like popped. I don't know how well you can see that. It's real blurry. Anyway, so it like swole up and got really red and then blistered and today the blister is like popping and it's still like kind of swollen I don't know it's doing some crazy stuff and it makes me think of like Ali and Daniela from Flavors of Light especially Ali with a lot of his um, limp stuff that would happen in his like fingers and you know nails and all sorts of crazy stuff so that's happening um, there's a lot of other things going on with me. <laughs> you know, it's been a week since I started therapy, so today was my second session, and it was really, like, intense. Um, going through a lot of, like, pattern shifting and cognitive, like, habit and... Just, I don't even know what the techniques were that we were doing, but they were incredible. Um, yeah, just so much of like breaking patterns and cycles and limiting beliefs when it comes to like love and receiving love and how I'm allowed to receive love and accepting love and that I don't always have to go pursuing it because that's how I felt all growing up and I didn't even realize it, you know, and it's so amazing to have someone who knows exactly what you're going through without having to know all of the details and be able to reflect it back to you in such a way that is just like boom this is it this is all of this this is why this is happening and this is why we're doing this and this is how we're going to change it and this is how we're going to let it go and it's just like wow you know i thought that the all of the uh, alternative healing modalities that i've gotten into we're totally like the end all be all and I, I I can't sit here and say that they haven't given me the grounds to start my prep work for what I'm doing now and I wouldn't be in the place that I am now to be able to go through these experiences with this therapist now um, to be able to let go like of course day 17 of my juice fast is so so imperative to the healing that I'm going through when I go into therapy um, because I'm not covering anything up you know like the juice fasting is forcing me to face everything you know whether I want to or not um, I will say it's really interesting though because after my therapy session today I felt relieved there was a lot of relief but then I immediately started thinking about like just eating and like I even had a thought cross my mind um, and it's like, it was a good memory of when I was young and it was summertime and I would take a shower at night and the sun would still be out and my mom would do my hair in a braid and then we would go and get ice cream and just that feeling of like the cool shower with the warm air and the, you know, ice cream and whatever, uh, that was like a nice sweet memory that came up and I've had to just kind of remind myself like, if I eat the ice cream, it doesn't bring back that experience and I can just have that memory and it's not about the food and, you know, so it's been really, um, it's been kind of tough today on all angles. I got in an argument last night, I got in an argument today and I'm just trying to like, <laughs> I'm just so tired today. Like, I'm, I'm sure you can see it in my face. Like, I'm exhausted right now and it's more of like, I didn't sleep well, so I'm physically exhausted, but I'm just so, like, emotionally exhausted. I'm feeling very drained by people who claim that they 
care about me but truly don't you know they they want things from me and they call that love and that's I'm not I'm not showing up for people like that anymore um and but I mean that does that feels good but also it's just like ugh, it's hard um I had to tell someone today like I'm not interested in interacting with you if all you want is something sexual from me I like had to straight up just say that but it felt so good to finally like shut that all down and be like no I don't want this like the attention that you're giving me is not the kind of attention I want and I I kind of like broke myself free of that chain and that was really nice and just it's <laughs> day 17 guys <laughs> um and it's day 17 of like 98% just watermelon juice of these 17 days, which I'm really, really enjoying and really grateful for the experience. Um, it's, it's one thing to go on a juice fast, you know, and to just only drink juice, but it's another thing to just drink one kind of fruit juice. <laughs> it ups the detox game that much more and it ups the transparency of everything that much more. Because the only thing I really have to hide behind is some like really beautiful dark pink watermelon juice and that doesn't cast a very big shadow so hmm wow this is actually also like and I am now in my running streak of the longest time I've ever been without solid food um, which is crazy because I used to do a lot of dry fasting and you know weaving in and out of juicing and this and that um, I will say that though I'm still like having a lot of anxiety around food and the thoughts of eating I'll even dream that I break my fast and it causes me anxiety um, so that's definitely something that I need to work through and probably should address <laughs> with my therapist and you know because I want this fast to be not of coming from a place of fear um, and fear of food, you know, so that, that feels like a target for me, so that feels good to be able to reflect that to you guys. Um, I'm really good at talking my talk a lot, um, and right now I'm definitely in alignment with also walking that talk, but I'm slowly realizing that, you know, just all of the things that I dealt with today, I am not as far along as I thought I was. And that's okay, but it was it's just kind of come as a surprise to me. Um, because I felt like I've come so far, but really it's you know it's a slow journey and yeah, I just um yeah. Taking it day by day at this point, you know, I used to think I was so far ahead of other people or you know I've done so much more work and this and that but now it's all starting to reveal itself to me as like the work is never done and it's not even about the work it's just about showing up for yourself and you know like choosing you no matter what in every area of your life and something that my friend and I reflect back and forth to each other a lot this weekend was, you know, what it means to respect and acknowledge ourselves as a spiritual being really just translates to how can I be a better human moment to moment, you know? Um, so, yeah. Day 17, watermelon juice. Uh, probably won't check in for another week so we'll see but I felt like it would be nice to say hey and let you guys know I'm still here um, I'm gonna do play around with some human design readings for people I totally underestimated how many people would be interested in and underestimated how much work it was going to take for me to like sort through and try and organize all the information that I want to include in the reading so it's not just like the same kind of info that you could get online it, that it does go a little bit more in depth um, for each person so give me you know like 
some time to, to play with that as I weave in and out of everything else that I'm doing, body work and spending time in nature with my family and friends and healing and all of the things that I like to pile on top of my plate that make me feel full. Let's go. Day 17, I'll tune in with you guys again in the future, and I hope you're having a great day, and I love you all so much.